Hello, Confetti Club, it is Pixie, and today is a video that has actually been requested. Oh my god, it's something people actually want me to do. <laughs> I have been experimenting and playing around a lot more with makeup and eyeshadow and colors in fun stuff, and you guys have definitely noticed and have gotten a lot of questions of like, can you do a tutorial for this Luke? What palettes did you use? How did you do this hashtag Luke? And guess what? I love giving the people what they want. Even though my last video was me like screaming, I know no one cares, but I'm doing it anyway. This is the opposite of that. So I'm going to show you my new updated daily makeup routine. I've made some changes to my like face makeup routine. Um, definitely made some changes to my eyeshadow sort of go-to look. Gonna show you how I do my colored brows. I'm gonna show you how I do the glitter, which I have shown before, but like, people always ask. And yeah, we're gonna just jump right into it. You're gonna get Nakey Face Jill in three, two, one. Hello, it's me. <laughs> ah! All right, in past makeup videos, I've been all like, I've never used a primer, hee <laughs> hee, I don't know what I'm doing. Guess what? I got a primer. It was really expensive. It was $42 just for that. But uh, I got it. This is the Benefit Pore Professional. I've only used it a couple times because again, it's like, is this a $42 face day or is this like a I don't care that much face day? And I don't find it makes an insane difference, but it does feel very nice. I'm a skein. It does feel really nice. Like it feels expensive and magical. It feels like my face is like beautifully creamy, <laughs> but uh, it was really expensive for something that, like, I don't find makes a huge difference. I've been using this for a while. Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. He's a good boy. I have it in the lightest color here, which is Swan. Perhaps wearing a wig while I do my makeup was a bad idea. But, uh, doing it. And I take a knockoff-ass beauty blender. And I just use the beauty blender to, like, put it on my face. That looks insane. But I just use it to, like, get the product on there. And then I use a synthetic brush and I give him the old beep beep. Okay, now that my face vaguely has product on it, I'm gonna take... This is a Cosmic Brushes synthetic brush. The sweet girl behind Cosmic Brushes sent me a set of their beautiful... I'll put a picture here. Their new prismatic, like, rainbow glitter brushes. And they rock and I love them and I use them every day and they're really cute and I just go swirl 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 and we make it look less weird and then I'm gonna go in with a concealer I wanted to try the Tarte Shape Tape concealer but we didn't make it to an Ulta in America I just snagged this from the Sephora um, this is the Kat Von D B -b 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 lock it concealer in also I think the lightest shade which is L1 neutral this might be too light for me but I blend it out like super blendy so it doesn't look that crazy and we're gonna give them a little boo boo I make a little triangle I make a little boo boo a little bit of a boo boo and then a little bit of a boo boo and then I take my bloody bluter and I give them a little smick <laughs> yeah that looks like a person, right? We're gonna go in with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder. I went from just using concealer and no foundation like a year or so ago to like primer and foundation and concealer and powder. But guess what? This mug is beat. <laughs> I like this powder, but I do find you have to like use a lot. Whereas with like the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I find a little goes a long way. Two pumps is like more than enough. I still have some on my hand there, but it gets pretty much my face. But with this, I have to dip in like every couple pats. This is just gonna mattify our face. Get all that dewy sort of like low key stickiness from all those liquids and creams we just put on. And we're gonna say, Pah get out of there. I am still using the Kylie Cosmetics I Want It All blush because um, when I got this the first time, the highlighter was shattered, so they sent me another one, so I 
like the blush on the other one still isn't out, but I've been using this one. Start with little circles, and I'm like, boop, boop, doo, hello. And then I'm like, boop, boop, doo. Especially because a lot of the time I'm doing my makeup for the camera, it kind of helps to exaggerate it a little bit, not a ton, but just a little bit so that it picks up and reads on the camera. Like this looks more harsh in real life, believe it or not, but I just love a lot of blush. I don't do contour. I just like become a soft little round baby face blushy girl. And sometimes I'll wipe a little bit away cause it's a lot of blush. I just realized that that was showing the freaking lace on this lace front wig for a while, which I didn't glue down because I knew I was gonna wear a beret, so like, sorry. <laughs> we are going to move on to the eyeballs. This is where my makeup routine gets more different. I guess the whole face and foundation was different than any tutorial I've done in the past, or this isn't really a tutorial. Makeup video! But the eyeballs is where I have been getting a lot of questions asking, what did you do there, you big silly goon? So I'm gonna show you what I've been doing. For the past, like while I've been kind of experimenting with just pinks and blues and golds and yellows and purples and <laughs> other colors, all the colors. Um, but the pink yellow blue combo I've been doing probably the most. And people have been thinking that I'm just using this palette, but oh no, no. I have also been sometimes using this palette and also sometimes dipping into this palette. So I'm gonna show you like my basic what I've usually been doing on my eyeballs. I like the blue here on the Little Twin Stars ColourPop palette a lot more than the one on the Too Faced Life Stuff Festival because I find the blue here is way too dark. Very, very, very dark. And it's also like a shimmer instead of a matte, so not as good for like crease blending and stuff. And this palette has way less fallout. There is a goldy color here, which is called Fun in the Sun, but sometimes I find that this gold is a little better and sometimes I just want a straight up yellow or I will put the yellow underneath. Also, this blue is very fun. This blue is very fun too. So I'm gonna go with today for my gold. I'm gonna go in with the Little Twin Stars, not ColourPop, Sugar Pill. Don't know why I said ColourPop, my bad, but this is the Little Twin Stars Sugar Pill palette. And I'm gonna dip into Twinkle Twinkle right there with a flat packing brush, which looks like it has blue on it, but it's it's clean, I promise. It's just a little stained. And I'm gonna pack him right in on my inner corner. I'm gonna bring him out to about halfway down the lid. My eyeball color looks so dark when I don't have as much makeup on. Like, these are black holes of death. But hi, it's me. And then I'm gonna go back in with the same brush just to pack on the color. I'm gonna give them a little bit of a clean. And I'm gonna go in with Star Ribbon from the same palette. I like this blue very much the most. Very much the most I like this blue guest. And I'm gonna do like the opposite thing. I'm gonna start on the outer edge and kind of bring them in. And we're not blending just yet. We're just getting the color on there. So don't you fret. And I know this brush is not for blending, but you can just give them a little bit of a little integration. Kind of like you're like, I don't know, you're like folding cake batter. Do you fold cake batter? You have the spatula and you're like, ah oh, yes, let's integrate the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients. And then this palette does have a pink and I have used it in this like kind of look before, but it's so fallouty. And I like to use a brush that is not this one, for the next part. If you use a fluffy blending brush with like these, just the matte powders, it goes everywhere. The fallout in this palette is crazy. I'm never gonna get PR or a brand deal from Sugar Pill because of this and I'm sorry, but like, oh dude, I like these, but yeah, not not for like fluffy fluffers. So I'm gonna go into the Too Faced Lifestyle Festival. I also love just using like all the freaking colors in this palette. I love this one. I love this one. I love this one. I love this one. Uh, he's a little dark. Love that one. It's just so fun. I love this palette. I'm gonna go into Young and Free with this brush, which again looks blue, but I swear to God when I rub it, against my freaking hand. No color comes off. He's just, 
he's just having a bad day. And we're gonna do our very gosh darn best. And we're gonna do a little boop 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 doo doo doo. We got some folly outy. I like to use this, which I sometimes use for powder, and give him a little boop. You can bake to avoid fallout getting like stuck in your face makeup. I don't do that. <laughs> I just wipe them away. And then I'm going in with beaming from this palette, which I adore. And I highlight my brow bone with it. Now, my hair has been yellow for a while, so I've been doing my eyebrows like canary yellow, but I'm wearing a wig and my hair, I'm like in the middle of toning out the yellow to make it blonde to make it a base for my next color slash S. Are you excited? I think I want to do a hair transformation video for that because uh, it's going to be a little bit weird. It'll be the same technique. I literally just use eyeshadow. Um, my eyebrows are like pretty dark in theory, so my eyebrows are not the easiest thing to cover, which is annoying because I love having weird colored eyebrows because I think it makes me look extra like an alien and that's always a look I'm trying to achieve. I'm just blending the eyebrow highlight in with my pink so it literally goes right up, right up to my eyebrow. Hello. I've also been liking bringing a color down underneath my eye. Sometimes I'll do blue, sometimes I'll do like gold on the inside and then another color there. Um, today I'll probably, I'll throw a little bit of young and free in there. I use it horizontally so it's super duper thin because I don't want to get like a big Gerard Way kind of thing going on. I mean, always, however, not this time. And I'm actually going to use Fun in the Sun just because I find it's kind of thin thinner the sugar pill shadows are like a little like cakey like clumpy if that makes sense so they're good for like bigger areas kind of but if you just want a teeny tiny bit under your eyeball i wouldn't want to mess with that hello how may i help you and just so you get the full experience, I am going to go in with the Urban Decay Heavy Metal. This color I actually got in my P.O. box. This is the color Grind. It's a little bit pinky. It is gorgeous. It doesn't go on super pink, so you can like layer it over other stuff and it kind of gives a duo chromey feel. So I'm going to put this over my gold. And I guess I'm going to do my brows and I will just do them pink. I'll probably use Fun in the Sun. I just take an angled brush. This is like a cheap angled brush from Claire's or Forever 21 something. I've had this forever. I straight up just dip her in with the angled brush and I just go at her like it's a normal brow color. You can cover your brows in concealer first. That does help, but I also find it kind of makes it more cakey. It helps to kind of brush like I go against the grain to get it like on my skin. More so just because my hairs are so dark that it kind of helps more so to get it on my actual flesh underneath and a little bit on the hairs, but the hairs are just so dark that they don't, they don't love to take a ton. This is maybe not the right pink for the wig, but uh, it's fine. That also looks kind of cool. You can do gradient brows. I did that once when I had the rainbow bangs. I did like each brow like Roy G. Biv and then I went to work at Claire's. It was sick. <laughs> Those brows are quite pink, but it's fine. Uh, this is Benefits Roller Lash. I love this mascara. It's pretty good. I look very strange with bright pink eyebrows and no lashes, so we're gonna do a little I want to give you a before and after just because it's fun because I really like this mascara. Ooh, Nike lashes. And whoa, there's some eyeballs. I'm also going to add blah, 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 some glitter on my brow highlight because I also like to do that a lot. I like that it's an area that catches the light. And so I think it's a good place to put a little bit of glitter. Look at that. Wah, wah. Cool eyebrow, lame eyebrow, bougie eyebrow, basic eyebrow. All right, I'm gonna throw on some highlight, throw on a lip, and we are done as dinner, Caitlin. I like to use a very glittery, shimmery highlight, so I actually go in with my fingers and pat it on to get like the full glitter experience. You can use a fan brush, you can use other brushes, but uh, that's not the way we do it on the Pixie Locks channel. I like unicorn tears. 
but I think today is more of a beaming kind of day. This is an eyeshadow, but if you just stick your little fingy in like ever so much and you give them a little bit of a give them a little bit of a it's the best thing ever. We have a very nice glow a little bit subtle a little bit not subtle guess what i'm gonna use hi <laughs> it's this again i love glitter sometimes i will go in with a loose glitter and i will put that on on top of the wet glitter i'm sure i've done many a tutorial about that before but i'm just gonna go in with this for now for today we're just gonna go in with a nice subtle glitter all over my face and then i can go in and give a little dab give a little dab Make sure he's not too all concentrated in one place. And the last thing we need to complete the look, I don't really do highlighter on my nose. Sometimes I will, but it's not super necessary and I find it makes my nose just kind of like too like, ah, it's a nose! Okay, this <laughs> is really tragic looking, but I want to show you because it's really sad. Um, I've been loving this sugar pill, Little Twin Stars Lala liquid lip but i put it in my purse just in my purse you know a purse that has things in it such as like a wallet that might have a metal buckle and like keys to drive my car and um she got a little bit f***ed up it's so scary looking and i don't know if i can even blame sugar pill but it's just like dude like put another layer like put a layer of plastic around it or something like these are expensive the packaging's a huge part of it and she looks like she's been oh god she looks like she's been in a horrible accident so lala i'm very sorry but like this could have been avoided i suppose you should also argue that i shouldn't like put it in my purse with my keys but also like i feel like you should be able to just put a lipstick in your purse i don't know anyway the product inside is still the same she just looks very upset but i still love this lipstick even though the packaging is destroyed whoa it's my face i don't know how much i love how it looks with the pink eyebrow and then the pink lip because i feel like they're such contrasting pinks and I've been used to having a yellow brow with this pink lip, but that's my updated makeup routine, yay! I, when I go out or when I want this look to stay on my face, I will use the Too Faced Festival Refresher Mystifying Setting Spray stuff, but I'm just gonna stream and then probably take this off. Like, I'm not going anywhere today. So, uh... I'm not gonna do that. I feel quite kawiwi, if I dare say. I feel very different. This is very much like a soft spring look. I don't wear wigs a lot um, because I feel like I feel like it's good to like keep your brand very identifiable with your hair and stuff. But I also just love wigs because they're super fun. And my hair is really weird right now. <laughs> it's like mm, I'm trying to tone out the yellow, and it's like it's like platinum at the ends and still yellow at the roots so like i'll let you imagine what my head looks like but this video's feature confetti club members are utter trash art i just saw the username now and j rain art from utter trash we have such a cute drawing oh my god i just noticed the peep I'm freaking out. It is me with my yellow bun, rest in peace, the yellow hair, and the pommy palms, and like, I love the way you draw faces. Oh my god, it's so cute. I'm in my Lazy Oaf Bunny Rees. You drew my tattoo. I'm holding a magical girl wand that has a peep in the middle, and I'm in front of a big peep. I love this so much. It is so cute. Thank you so much. You're so talented. And it's really cute. From Jay Raynard, we have another yellow bun appreciation post. This is so cute. This is amazing. I wish I had talent. <laughs> it's amazing. Of the Luke from the Otaku review a while back, rocking the Otaku apparel magical girl top, the pom pom earrings from my P.O. box. And it's just a beautiful drawing and it's really cute. And again, you're talented as hell and that's awesome. Thank you guys so much for your support. I love you guys all so, so, so much, and I will see you in the next video, which is not this one, because this one is over. Bye!